guys welcome back so now we are going to discuss about extensions what is this extensions when you are seeing the extensions itself you can see that the down they mention as properties okay so when you want to add a couple of properties for a particular task okay then you can use these extensions okay extension is nothing but it's like a adding properties for the particular task that's all okay okay so how i can add it out and how i can use it out okay so for example this is a welcome task right so let me click the welcome task and i i will add some properties like a url and some values as local host and i can add one more property also okay so qa url uh, qa okay so maybe what i'll do test test url okay so okay uh, http uh, local host not a local host right test should be some um, like a lms test okay and that is that is that is what will be there right okay so the same way for qa i should have the lms qa so that, that's like a, just a name okay so maybe just assume that i have two properties okay how i can access these properties in our code so i want to access the property key as well as a property value this is called as a key and this is called as a value okay so let's see that let me save this and in java code right this is i am again telling you this is like a local properties for a particular task okay so how i can access this so what is the implementation class we have it so we have the welcome task right for this extensions okay so let me go here so to access those properties okay so kamunda is providing couple of code set up coding okay so how i can access that so to access that what basically i need to i need to get the elements of this whole stuff right then from that element i can get the whole properties then from the whole properties i can get one by one properties maybe from the name again the value like that i can get one by one okay so for that first what basically we need to do is that as this is a service task right so we need to create a object for ta service task first of all okay so that object okay how we can get it out uh, i need to get it from the execution dot okay get execution thing nothing but this one right so this execution dot get bpm and model elements i need to take it out okay model element instance you can see here right this one i need to take it out okay i need to okay let me import the service task first okay from here i need to take the service task first okay let me cast this one as a service task okay so this is the first step i need to do it out then what i have to do i need to take the all the properties right kamunda properties from this service task how i can take it out i will create a kamunda properties okay so this is the uh, stuff actually so the, uh, properties name class name okay so let me create the reference name so i am importing so how basically i can take it out from the service task okay service task dot get extension elements okay first of all we need to extension elements okay then from that let me get element query we have a query okay so then filter by okay so what is the what is the stuff we need to get it out kamunda properties right so kamunda properties dot class okay so i am trying to get the kamunda properties from there actually okay then at last i have to get it as a single result okay so this is what the code we need to write out then now we are holding all the properties okay now we can iterate one by one and we can print it out for iterating just i am using for each loop okay so i am getting kamunda property okay so kamunda property from that kamunda properties okay so from the properties i am trying to get one by one property let me spelling is correct why it is showing error 
okay command of properties okay dot i need to do get command of properties okay yeah it is solved so now i can using the it is holding one one record okay so now let me system dot out dot print ln let me try to print first of all okay so the command what is what are the stuffs are there one is name and another one is value right so let me print that name first of all okay name i am telling as kamunda property dot get what is that kamunda name okay i am just printing that okay then the second system dot out dot print ln i have a value right let me print this print that kamunda property dot get Kamunda value okay okay that's all so now I have to get two records one is for test and another one is for QA right let me save this then let me save this file as well then let me restart the server and let me try it out okay server started let me go into localhost 8080 let me create a process for task list right let me start a process add a simple filter okay so once the process started hope you can see the diagram right so it is cross the welcome so it has to print all the details whatever we gave it so you can see that right name first is test then the url then the qa then that is a url right so that is what so whenever you want to add a couple of properties okay you can use the extensions okay that's all guys hope you understood right okay thanks for watching bye bye